So Ubisoft released uh, developer notes today, uh, basically stating that they are going to be implementing global ordering into the game. If you don't know what global ordering is, stay tuned for this video. I'm going to explain it to you the best I can. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Monday I released a video uh, basically trying to explain to you guys what the patch notes were, uh, but I didn't really go into depth, wrote them all on paper, and kind of gave you the quick rundown of what they listed. Um, unfortunately I was on the go, so right now I'm taking a moment to kind of sit down and, and tell you my opinion of some of the updates and kind of give you how I feel about them and kind of what they mean maybe. Uh, so pretty much right now they're trying to establish the perfect RFF system. Um, for those of you that aren't aware or are new to Siege, what RFF is, is it's recently um, been incorporated into the game. It's reverse friendly fire. Uh, Siege is very well known for team killing your enemies or I mean team killing your teammates. Part of what makes it toxic, also part of what makes great memories and videos. Um, but yeah, so they've made this thing where if you do damage to your teammate, like kill them, then they can activate reverse friendly fire and at a certain point you will get killed for doing so. Um, what they've done is they've gone ahead and furthered this program so now the offendee or offender can make up for trying to team kill the enemy if they down them by reviving them um, while they're down but not out which is a common used term is DBNO uh, that's what they've been using it's down but not out meaning the player is down they aren't dead but they're not up either and able to move they need to be revived by a teammate before they bleed out um, if they bleed out they die which in that point they're able to have the option to now activate reverse friendly fire which will um, cause the guy who did the offense to if you kill somebody else he will die basically um, but if he revives them then it takes it completely away from that person they've also gone to the length of taking that and if you're lightly damaging your enemy throughout the game it'll add points towards you getting affected by a uh, reverse friendly fire. So that's something they did. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I'm 50 50 on it, to be honest. I really, sometimes it's fun to be real toxic and TK each other and do that. Other times, you know, you just want a regular match. You want to get in there and play and try to get your best score out of it. And so it's, it's really a, you know, a matter of opinion and a matter of how you feel when you play the game. Some people just take it too personally. Other people enjoy doing it. I mean, what are you going to do? Uh, so they talked about balancing out um, the shield operators. So, again, for those who may not know, everybody should know by now. But in case you're brand, brand new because, you know, holidays roll around and people like to pick up the game that have never played it before. If you're one of those guys. Um... Originally in Siege, shields, if you are meleeed by a shield, you instantly die. What they've gone and done is take that away and make it so that you are DBNO, as I was referring a second ago. And then they have to hit you again to kill you, um, which gives you a slight chance of surviving if your teammate happens to be there to take out the shield operator and is successful and able to revive you but it all depends on the situation and more times than none you're probably still gonna be dead it just depends on the shield operator and the current circumstances so there's that and then they're also um, trying to even out the hip fire uh, a lot of people you know exploit glitches and everything in the game and one of them not really a glitch per se but more of just um, Something people noticed and picked up on is that if you play Fuse and you're rocking a shield with the uh, laser pointer, it you're basically beaming people. I mean, you are just destroying people with that little pistol. Um, the accuracy was insane, so Ubisoft went ahead and brought in the um, cone. 
essentially what the cone is is imagine the small end at the tip of the pistol and the circular and the wider end where your enemy is that you're firing at that cone is the area the aoe the area of effect in which your rounds will hit depending on how you're aiming and controlling the pistol um, so if you're really good at controlling your aim in this game, then you're probably not going to really notice it. But for those who are hip firing and just spraying everywhere, yeah, you're, you're, yeah. Um, then they also went ahead and, um, they nerfed Echo's, um, drone. So essentially the yokai is going to be about three seconds shorter on the disorientation side. And that, um, basically means that. Uh, yokai in the game, you get hit with it, your character becomes disorientated, you can't see right. And it's usually for a very long period of time, which allows his yokai to recharge and shoot again, which keeps you disoriented until the enemy kills you. Or keeps you busy long enough for you not to get the bomb. If you, or, yeah, well, you know what I'm saying. So what is global ordering? So, in the game... Um, Every object that is in Rainbow Six Siege sends a message to the game server when any step of an action is performed. Basically meaning that each time you place a gadget down, reinforce a wall, etc., it sends a message to not only the server, but to the other players. And this basically means that, you know, for example, if Jaeger places down his ADS on the wall, um, it sends messages in the game's program which are telling uh, not only the server but the other players that the team basically means that for example if Jaeger places down his ADS on the wall um, messages in the game's program are telling not only the server but the other players on the team that this action is being performed well in the game uh, this is how basically how you see Jaeger place his ADS on the wall and how it works when a grenade is tossed in the room and the ADS interacts with that. So while these messages are being sent out during the action, they are also simultaneously sending two messages. Um, you know, an example, I am deploying my ADS, ADS deployed. This type of message was um, object specific, meaning the messages were sent out by one individual object in the game at a time. So in result, spamming that same action would actually cause the messages to get lost or fail, which would cause you know the actions that were intended to be performed to not be the ones that were intended to be performed. So basically what they're doing is they're taking this um, error in their system and they're uh, implementing global ordering, which is the modification to the network server or the network engine that allows it to globally uh, organize the messages um, so that there's no more miscommunication and at the same time it's going to be sending um, multiple messages at the same time to ensure that there's no loss of data so the communication should be flawless overall so this means that every game will receive the same sequence of messages and will be synchronous across uh, you know everyone's game so everyone sees the same thing the game runs more fluently I mean, this is, in in looking at it, it sounds amazing. And I'm really hoping that this is either going to work and not have any problems, or it's something they just have to make sure you know, they stay on top of. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll catch you guys later.